Hi, this is Chris Toich here at University of Kentucky's Research and Education Center in Princeton. And I just wanted to talk to you about Johnson grass and pastures. We're kind of entering a dangerous time of the year in terms of prussic acid poisoning. That's the time of the year when we start to get frost in the fall. And as you know, when Johnson grass gets frosted like other sorghum species, it releases a toxin called prussic acid. And prussic acid can cause poisoning in livestock. So if we're grazing a pasture and you've got Johnson grass in it, and it looks like a frost is likely, those animals need to come out of that pasture. What happens when that frost the plant is it ruptures the cells in the Johnson grass plant. And we've got a Johnson grass plant right here. And when it ruptures these cells, the precursors for the formation of prussic acid come together and prussic acid is formed. And that prussic acid will stay in that plant until this leaf dries out. That's usually around five to seven days, depending on the weather conditions. So we want to stay off of Johnson grass pastures after a first frost for at least a week or so. And then we also need to be careful if we get regrowth during that week period, that regrowth can actually be pretty high in prussic acid also. As far as our other sorghum species go, if you're grazing a Sudan grass, a forage sorghum, or sorghum Sudan grass, they can also form prussic acid. The, the amount of prussic acid in those improved plants tends to be a little bit less than our, our native Johnson grass. So, if you have any questions about prussic acid in your forages, get with your local agent. Your local agents have kits that they can actually test the forage with to see if prussic acid has been formed in your sorghum species.